Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to every one of you. Uh, today, uh, we will finish our discussion on warrant. Uh, actually, I anticipate uh, it's going to be a very short uh, lecture today because we have only uh, three questions left on warrant. Question number seven. Question number, uh, we have done question number six eh, yesterday. We have done question number, uh, have we done question number six? Dah buat tak soalan nombor tu, nombor enam? Dah dibat. Saya pun tak ingat. Uh, uh, okay, so we have, we have, uh, uh, I, I can I don't remember whether we have done question number six or not. Soalan nombor enam. Uh, otherwise, kita akan buat soalan nombor enam, Lady Bird tu. Yang soalan nombor tujuh, question seven. Six, seven. Uh, oh, dah. Okay, kalau dah, kita start from question seven. And then question uh, nine, seven, nine, and thirteen. So, only th only three questions left, yeah? Okay. Uh, so, this is going to be probably, uh, it will take less than half an hour for us to finish these three questions. Okay. Uh, before we continue our discussion on on this warrant, uh, let me tell you a bit about uh, the uh, Bursa Marketplace game. Yeah. Okay. Um, for those of you who are yet to register, who have not registered yet, please do so because uh, we have. This is our. Uh, we started on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this is the fourth day of trading. And uh, you you have missed the boat if you don't uh, join the game. Yeah, uh, I still uh, accept I, uh, a trickle of you know a trickle means sikit sikit lah of students who requested to join the game just now this morning. I I approved two students. So those of you who uh, still have not joined the game, please do so as soon as possible. Uh, Otherwise, you are missing the boat. Yeah, okay. Uh, and another thing about the Bursa Marketplace is the name of the uh, shares. Yeah. So actually, of course, uh, if you if you just want to pick at random uh, the stocks, you just can you just uh, scroll down the the name of the companies and pick your yeah, uh, stocks. But some students they have some ideas on which stocks to invest in. However, uh, they do not know the name of the company. So don't get confused uh, between the, the name of the products and the name of the companies. The, uh, the shares are listed under the name of the companies, not the products. Let me give you an example. Eh? Uh, last semester, there was a student who wanted to buy uh, Milo shares. Milo, 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 yeah, uh, Nescafe shares. Uh, there is no such thing as Milo shares. So she couldn't find, uh, she couldn't find uh, Milo counter. Actually, Milo is a product produced by Nestle. Nestle produce, produces so many products. Mom, if I'm not mistaken, Mommy, uh, Milo, uh, what else? Eh? They, they, they produce so many products. So, you have to find Nescafe. Uh, similarly, for example, uh, students would like to invest in Cellcom. There is no counter uh, under the name of Cellcom. But, Cellcom is, is a company under Aziata. A-X-I-A-T-A. -A. So, you have to find Aziata. Uh, you have to find Aziata. Uh, to invest uh, in the company that owns Cellcom. Yeah? If you read uh, newspapers recently, uh, there, there is a, a, a proposal from the government to merge, gabungkan eh, uh, Aziata uh, and DG. So when this, uh, as you know, uh, Cellcom and DG are two uh, uh, mobile, uh, mobile companies, mobile phone companies and if these two combines 
they will create a very big company that controls almost two-thirds of the uh, mobile phone uh, market in Malaysia. So these are the things that uh, those in the corporate sector will look into and they will try to analyze whether this, for example, this merger between Cel uh, between Cellcom and DG, eh, Aziata and DG, will benefit uh, DG or will benefit Cellcom. So, and whoever benefits from this merger will uh, will see the increase in their stock price. So, these are the works of the market analysts. We haven't gone yet into this uh, the uh, to the the analysis of the uh, market price or stock price. Later on in this semester, we will learn in theory about how to how these things uh, uh, how this uh, different uh, how this different uh, we call it uh, how this different factors uh, inter interworks uh, not interworks how these different factors affects the price of the stock yeah and believe me uh, those of you who have tried playing this game playing in the stock market is not an easy job it is a very difficult job, so never, never believe that uh, people can easily get rich by playing into the stock market. I have, I have uh, emphasized this thing before. Uh, don't believe with this, this gimmick. Uh, tak handsome, tak apa, asa kaya. This kind of thing is just uh, a trap, eh? perangkap, eh? to uh, a perangkap, a, a trap to many of us. If you do not want to get a headache, yeah, to get a headache, you just simply park your money in ASB, for example, or in Tabung Haji, then you can get a very good night's sleep. There's no need for you to think about the, uh, the, the fluctuations of your stock prices, okay? Okay, now uh, let's go to question number seven. Yeah? Uh, question number seven. Okay, question number seven. Warrants give the holder the right to buy the stocks of the company at a specific time and price. Identify the advantages of investing in warrants. Okay. Um, one thing... Um, if you talk about derivatives, yeah, derivatives, I have mentioned derivative, derivatives, uh, such as warrants, rights, and options. Uh, these are examples of derivatives, yeah, warrants, rights, and option. Um, this this derivative instruments this financial instruments that we call derivatives they give the there's a term that i i i, I can't remember offhand uh, uh they call it uh they give you uh the sense of leverage yeah or okay this is a uh, this is a I, I, there's another term but i i i, I can't remember straight away uh, a, a sense of leverage. You know, in finance, uh, leverage is debt, hutang kan? Tapi, um, the leverage is something that is, uh, that is, you can get, uh, you can, uh, you can make a lot of profit by using a small amount of capital. So, in other words, you have a small chance of making a big profit but big chance of having small losses so that is the concept of having derivative you have a big uh, you have a small chance of making a, 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 a big profit but big chance of making small profit a uh, small losses just like gam uh, like just like gambling eh? let me let me give you an example uh, people who buy uh, lottery tickets or toto, eh? toto, lottery tickets or toto, toto lah. We we Muslims are prohi prohibited from uh, gambling, right? So this is a uh, toto is gambling. 
for your information, a lot of concepts in stock markets, in futures, uh, is quite similar with, uh, with gambling. That's why uh, up to today, uh, the, uh, the ulama, eh, the, the those who uh, the ulama are still uh, debating whether playing in the stock market is halal or harus, eh? halal or haram, halal halal harus or haram. Eh? Uh, ulama are still debating because the uh, this the the concept is uh, of playing in the especially if you are doing a speculation. Eh? Uh, it is very very much similar with gambling. Let me give you an example. Eh? Uh, for gambling, yeah? um, Toto lah. Let's say, for example, you you play Toto. I do not know how how the system is, but uh, one thing you sh one thing that we are sure of, you pay for the number that you, you that you are betting on. Yeah, I do not know the ticket because I have never gambled. But let's say, for example, you pay five ringgit, uh, maybe lah five ringgit or twenty ringgit, eh? uh, twenty ringgit for the tickets. For the for the number eh, that you predict, okay, you pay let's say for example twenty ringgit. You know how much that you can get if you win if the number that you gamble on we uh, become a winning number. You get like twenty twenty two million. I always read this in the newspapers. Um, quite a number of uh, 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 Malaysians got. Uh, become instant millionaire by playing in the Toto, in, in by playing Toto or by playing this uh, um, all these numbers like gambling lah. Yeah? With the capital of twenty ringgit or five ringgit, let's say twenty ringgit or ten ringgit, five ringgit, you have a very little chance of getting a twenty million uh, ringgit profit. Okay, but you have a very very big chance to lose that twenty ringgit, right? So those who gamble know that uh, the the it is very unlikely for them to get it uh, the right number and uh, win twenty million. But it is very very strong possibility that um, uh, you will lose that your twenty ringgit. Small chance of getting a big profit, but a big chance of getting a small losses. You can gamble almost on anything, anything, yeah. Even now we can gamble. Okay, for example, I'm teaching now. Yeah, I am teaching. So we expect to finish this lecture probably by ten forty-five. Yeah, ten forty-five. Uh, I, I would like to see uh, how many of us here in life. Okay, sixteen of us here. Okay, let's say there are sixteen of you. You can gamble. Among yourself, will Prof Jais or Che Jais survive? He will not die until it at ten forty-five, so that he can finish this lecture. One will become a tauke lah. One will become a tauke. So the tauke will take the bet. Yeah, the tauke will take the bet. Okay, the tauke will pay. So let's say sixteen, sixteen of you here in life. Yeah, sixteen eh? Uh, seventeen now has increased to seventeen. Okay. Out of this 17, one is become the Tauke. Okay. The Tauke will take the bet. The Tauke says that if Encik Jais or Prof Jais pass away, meninggal, before this lecture ends, they will pay you, every one of you, 16 of you, 1,000 ringgit each. If I, your lecturer, dies uh, before 10.45 this morning. Okay. But those who want to take this gamble have to pay the Tauke five ringgit. So you have to pay five ringgit to the Tauke. Uh, uh, you, you have to pay five ringgit to the Tauke. So 16 multiplied by five. How many? 16 uh, students multiplied by five. Kosong tiga sini lima tiga satu lima lapan puluh. So uh, the Tauke will collect 80 ringgit because 16 of you playing in the game, in this game. Paying five ringgit each, so the Tauke will get eighty ringgit in his pocket. So chances is that I will survive. Your lecturer will survive until ten forty-five this this morning. So if I survive until ten forty-five this morning, uh, each and every one of you will lose five ringgit each, and the Tauke will get eighty ringgit extra in his pocket. Right? 
Kan? On the other hand, if by the chance of by by the act of God dengan kuasa Allah, I drop and pass away. Saya meninggal dunia. Ini bukan bukan meninggal sekan sekolah. Ini meninggal dunia. Meninggal dunia mati ya, kan? Ada ada seorang saja yang meninggal dunia yang yang uh, hidup balik iaitu angkasawan kita dia meninggal dunia Dr. Syekh Muzaffar Shah and then he came back survive ha, dia meninggal dunia dan balik tapi kalau orang lain meninggal dunia tak balik ok let's say by any chance by very small chance I die eh, before this lecture ends of course the Tauke will lose a lot of money because he has to pay 10,000 ringgit each to 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 each of you so 16% uh, 16 who take the gamble uh, will be uh, 16 multiplied by 10,000, so 160,000. The Tauke will lose 160,000. So in this case, in this case, the Tauke has a very big chance of getting 80 ringgit clean in his pocket, but he has a very little chance to lose 160,000 ringgit if the lecturer giving the lecture in front of you pass away or meninggal dunia. Uh, by before nine, uh, before ten forty five this morning. This, this morning, that's how the system works. Okay, some of you might want to take the chance. Mana dah tahu you kata cik jah ini tiba tiba mati lagi ni. So I I will I'll be richer by ten thousand. So this is the concept of gambling. Why I I I I take so much time to explain to you the concept of gambling because these derivatives, warrants, right and options, they are almost similar in concept with gambling in which if you have the warrant uh, if you have the warrant there is a very little chance for you to get rich through warrants but there is a small uh, there is a big chance for you to lose your money through warrants uh, you lose small money but there's a potential uh, for you to um, to make a uh, big money Okay, some of you do not understand. How can I? Uh, how can I? Uh, how can I explain this in Warren? Okay, let's say for example, eh, uh, give you an example. Uh, let's say. Okay, I give you an example. Let's say the market price of share. Market price of share. Is three ringgit. Eh? Let's say the market price of share is three ringgit, and you buy. Okay, there is a warrant there. Uh, Warren with exercise price of equal to let's say exercise price of uh, four ringgit. Four ringgit. Uh, exercise ratio of. Two, let's say for example exercise ratio of two and exercise period of let's say one month okay yeah so uh, just to to explain to you the the concept that i have explained to you just now this concept of gambling in warren so i give you this information the market price of the share is three ringgit a warren price is uh uh now exercise price for the warren is four ringgit uh, exercise ratio is two, and the warrant period is uh, uh, the period is one month. Okay, in this example, yeah, in this example, the warrant is out of the money. Yeah, out of the money means the warrant is uh, uh, worthless, useless because the exercise price is higher than the market price. Let's say, for example, this warrant is sold in the market for the price of one ringgit. Let's say the market price of the warrant is one ringgit. Okay, you pay one ringgit to get this warrant. Of course, now it's not the right time for you to exercise the uh, the warrant because market price is lower than the exercise price. But imagine, eh? but imagine if <coughs> the price of the stock shoots up up to let's say for example to eight ringgit. Yeah, within this one month, if the exercise price is eight ringgit, so you exercise the warrant. Sorry, if the market price is eight ringgit, you exercise the warrant. How do you exercise the warrant? You buy two shares at uh, four ringgit, so you pay eight ringgit, and you sell it back 
the two for the price of eight ringgit, and you get uh, you get sixteen ringgit, and you will you will make a profit of eight ringgit. Okay, let me explain to you once again, eh? Uh, because maybe I I'm expanded a bit too fast. Okay, in this scenario, in which the market price of the share is three ringgit. And the warren uh, has a exercise price of four ringgit. The warren has no value. The, the warren is out of the money. We call it out of the money. But you still believe that one day the price of the share will go up. So you buy the warren at one ringgit. Even though uh, the, uh, at this moment the warren is, useless, is worthless. But you speculate. You hope that one day the price of the share will go up. What happened if within this one month period, the price of the share does not go up more than, uh, uh, no, no, uh, if the price of the share uh, goes up more than four ringgit. So you will lose one ringgit because once the warrant expires, then you lose one ringgit, right? So the maximum loss is one ringgit. If you buy the warrant and your expectations does not come true. Your expectation does not come true. But if your expectations is right and the price of the share goes up from three ringgit to eight ringgit, from three ringgit to eight ringgit, what happened is you exercise the warren, you buy two stocks of this company at four ringgit, so you pay eight ringgit, and you sell it back at the price of eight ringgit, and you get sixteen ringgit. So now you are making a profit of eight ringgit. Eight ringgit, right? With the capital of one ringgit, you can make a profit of eight ringgit. This is based on the assumption that the price of the warrant goes to uh, from from th uh, three ringgit to eight ringgit. What happens if it goes to from three ringgit to thirteen ringgit? So you get more profit. What happens if the price goes up from three ringgit to twenty ringgit? More profit for you, right? Uh, so this is how the system works. So, so the warren will provide you with the downside protection. They call it the downside protection. It means that no matter whatever happened, your maximum loss would be one ringgit, but there is uh, unlimited potential for your profit. So that is the advantage of warren. Okay. Uh, so that is the advantage of warrant that I can think of. It gives you a downside protection. Pelindungan ngalir ke bawah. Maknanya ke bawah tak banyak. Rugi, tapi ke atas mungkin possibility untuk untung tu lagi tinggi. So nak tanya, how many of you nak masuk betting ni? Ada lagi lebih kurang 15 minit lagi. Siapa nak jadi tauke? Saya akan meninggal dalam tempoh sampai 10.45 ni. Dan siapa yang uh, siapa nak masuk betting ni? Bayar RM5 kat toke. Siapa yang nak jadi toke? Please raise your hand. Uh, ni kalau yang if you follow the, the lecture, you, you you understand. Who wants to become a toke for this betting? Saya meninggal pada sebelum 10.45, awak akan dapat RM5 daripada setiap participant. Kalau saya meninggal, kalau saya meninggal, awak kena bayar sepuluh ribu ringgit pada semua participant. Kalau saya hidup sampai sepuluh empat puluh lima, awak akan dapatlah lima ringgit from each participant. Siapa nak jadi toke? Who wants to become a toke? Ini main-main aja ya. Gambling is haram ini in, in, in Islam. Cuma sekarang ni siapa nak jadi toke? Suka-suka aja jaga. Nobody wants to become a toke. 20 of you now watching the live. So, one is Tauke. And 19 will be playing the game. So, Tauke banyak dapat duit hari ni. Kalau saya hidup sampai pukul 10, 45. Lekah, lekah? Any response? Oh, semua ni bulan-bulan puasa ni semua alim-alim. So, semua tak nak main lah. Tak nak judi lah ni. Ya. Yeah. Ada tak siapa-siapa yang uh, nak jadi toke, siapa yang nak main dalam game ni? Main-main aja, bukan cakap betul-betul. <laughs> toke pun tak nak, main pun tak nak. <laughs> okay. Uh, nak jadi toke pun tak mahu, uh, main pun tak mahu. Okay, tak apalah. Uh, okay. Okay, so now kita pergi kepada 
Okay, so, so the game is off lah eh. Uh, tak jadi sebab seorang pun tak mau jadi toke, seorang pun tak mau main game ni. Sebab kalau main game ni seolah-olah mengharapkan pejara awak matilah kan. Okay. Uh, so now that's uh, that's uh, lebih kurangnya how to answer question number 7 ya. Yeah? And then we go into the question, question number 9 ya. Yeah? Question number 9. Um, go to question number 9. Okay, in real world, let me tell you a, a bit. Eh? Uh, in real world, um, how can this uh, tauke, this gambling tauke, this gambling uh, owners, uh, in fact, if you want to play in the gambling uh, stocks in Busan, Busan Marketplace, you can still play because I, 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 I do not, uh, uh, what do you call it, in settings, in, in the game setting. Uh, you, you are allowed to play uh, non-shariah compliant stocks. Eh? So you can buy Casper, you can buy, uh, they call it gaming, gaming stocks, gaming counters. Gaming counters mean counter judi, eh? uh, uh, like uh, counter judi uh, such as uh, Tanjung PLC. Eh? Tanjung PLC, if you, if you scroll the Bursa Marketplace, there's a Tanjung PLC. Tanjung PLC is a judi. And then there's a, uh, uh, another counter, Berjaya. Berjaya is a very big company but uh, Berjaya Toto, Toto is uh, under Berjaya. Eh? Berjaya is owned by Mason Tan. He, he owns a lot, uh, a lot of companies such as 7-Eleven and then there's uh, Berjaya Times Square in KL again. So, uh, uh, and uh, U-Mobile, uh, Mason Tan owns U-Mobile. He used to own, uh, he used to own DG but um, when he was building the Berjaya Times Square in KL, he was running short of fund tak duit so he sold his dg shares so he sold his, his shares in dg and the 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 proceeds pendapatan daripada penjualan dg tu uh, he finish his berjaya times square you know berjaya times square kan uh, in kl uh, so he, he started again with u mobile uh, and uh, 7e and then berjaya toto and toto is judi lah okay uh, now we go into uh, question number uh, and and uh, uh, one one last statement. Uh, gaming counters, counter counter perjudian. I mean stock market. Eh? Uh, counter perjudian. As genting also. Genting is part of. Walaupun now genting is uh, diverge, di, uh, uh, try to divert its business away from uh, casino. But genting uh, 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 quite a portion of its income is from casinos in Genting Island, kan? Uh, so, Genting is also uh, non-shariah compliance as, uh, counter lah. Yeah. Okay. Um, question number nine. Question number nine. The market price of a stock is 380. So, market price of the stock Market price of the share is 380. Okay. Um, the current price of the warrant is 2 ringgit. So market price of warrant is 2 ringgit. Is 2 ringgit. Okay. Uh, each warrant entitles you to purchase one share of the company. So, exercise ratio is 1. Exercise ratio is equal to 1. And exercise price is 250. Exercise price is equal to 250. Okay. Uh, calculate the intrinsic value of the warrant. So, the intrinsic value is easy here. Intrinsic value is the market price of the share, 380, minus exercise price of the warren of 2, and multiply by exercise ratio of 1. So, you get 380 minus 2 is 180, 
180, right? Uh, 180 multiplied by 1 is 180. 180. Hmm? So, eh? Yeah, so this is the intrinsic value of the warren. And the warren is currently selling at 2 ringgit. It means that there is 20 cents premium. So, there is the 20 cents premium uh, because premium of the warren, uh, premium is equal to market price multiplied by intrinsic value. So, the market price is market price is 2 ringgit multiplied by intrinsic value of 180 you get premium of 20 cents okay yesterday there was a uh, one of your uh, uh, clicks one of your classmates asked me the questions how come when we calculate premium sometimes we uh, like this one uh, uh, we deduct market price and we deduct uh, with the intrinsic value and we don't divide with intrinsic value okay we simply leave it this way 20 cents sometimes we we multiply we we uh, 2 minus 180 divided by 180 okay the answer is whether you want the uh, the uh, the premium in ringgit or in percentage if in ringgit or in sin uh, so this is the answer but here the the uh, the premium of the warrant in percent so in percent you have to uh, so to get the in percent in percentage in percent is 2 2 minus 180 2 minus 180 divided over divided by 180 multiplied by 100 so this is the answer in percentage 20 cents 0.2 divided by 1.80 so multiply by 100 you get 11 percent 11 percent 11.11 percent so in to get the answer in percentage you have to divide by intrinsic value okay if to, if the question asks you what is the premium of the warrant so you simply uh, uh, so you simply uh, deduct uh, market price minus uh, intrinsic value. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The conversion premium. Oh, sorry. I still I forgot to check the textbook. Eh? The conversion premium. But uh, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, as far as I know, there is no conversion premium for warrant. Uh, uh, unless we are talking about convertible bond, there's a premium. But let me check the, the, the textbook again. I forgot uh, to check the textbook whether there is or textbook textbook or or Google. Eh? Uh, we can see whether what is the formula for Warren Premium. Okay, so we skip that part, and then uh, so that's it. That's it for number nine. Okay, one point three zero. What what is one point three zero? One point three zero. Two. Uh, what is 1.3? Premium. Market price of the warren minus intrinsic value. Intrinsic value is... Uh, kalau market premium tu dia tak mention dia nak... Eh, what is uh, Sumaya? What is 1.30? Eh? Oh, you salah. Okay, Sumaya salah. Kalau market premium dia tak mention, dia nak persen atau ni, kita kena buat jawapan in ringgit, ya kan? Okay, yes. If the, if, if the question asks you to to state what is the market premium, you say you simply say in ringgit lah. Uh, what is the market premium in percentage Bagulah you, uh, uh, you answer in percent. Okay, ya? Yeah? Betul. Okay, semuanya uh, salah. Baik salah masa ni. Okay. Uh, tidak salah masa test, ya? Yeah? Okay. Uh, so, we have one more question left. Uh, question number 13, ya? Yeah? 13. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have question number 14. Kalau 14, ada kumpulan nasyid. Jika denganmu salah, ku tak mahu yang benar. Jika, jika denganmu rebah, Biarlah kuter calar. Itu 14. Izu Islam. One of the members. In 14 group. In 14. Izu Islam. Lagi siapa lagi tak tahu. 
So, question number 13. But now, Yuzu Islam is no longer in 14 because uh, because of some misunderstanding between between the members and Yuzu Islam uh, uh, he left the group. Eh? He left the group. So now, 14 has become 13. Okay, question number 13. Okay, the last question. Eh? The warrant of an oil and gas company is trading at market of 132. So market price of warrant is 132. One thirty two. Okay. Uh, the exercise price is seventy one. Exercise price is seventy one. Seventy one. And the market price of the share is to, to market price of the share is market price of the share is two zero five. 205. Assume that one warrant gives the holder the right to buy one share of the stock. So exercise ratio is 1. Exercise ratio is 1. Find the value and the premium or discount of what okay. I, 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 I forgot to mention if the if the if the uh, price of the warrant is higher than its uh, its Intrinsic value, we call it the warrant is at premium. On the other hand, if the price of the warrant is lower than the intrinsic value, intrinsic value we call it the warrant is at discount. Eh? Okay, so uh, sometimes if the market price of the warrant is lower than its intrinsic value, the warrant is at discount. Okay, so now let us calculate the intrinsic value of the warrant. Intrinsic value is equal to Market price of the share, 205 minus exercise price of the warrant of 71 cents. 71 cents and exercise ratio of 1. So now the difference is uh, 2.05, 2.05 minus, 2.05 minus, 0 0.71 is 1.34 multiplied by 1. So the intrinsic value is 1.34. 1.34. Okay. So now the, 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 the price of the warrant is 1.32. Now the warrant is sold at discount. In this example, the, back, the price of the warrant is lower than the intrinsic value. It's intrinsic value. So the warrant is sold at discount. So what is the discount? Discount is, okay, so the discount of the warrant is, okay, market price of the warrant is uh, 132, 1.32 minus the intrinsic value of the warrant is 1.34, okay, 1.34 divided by the intrinsic value of the warrant is 1.34, so in percent, in, in price, the the discount is two cents, right? Thirty-two, thirty-four. So in in ringgit, uh, uh, in 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 value is two cents. The discount of two cents in percentage is zero point zero two over one point three four multiplied by one hundred. So point zero two divided by one point three four. So one point four nine percent. 1.49% discount. Yeah. So uh, the, this warrant is sold at discount. So this is the first example that the warrant is sold at discount. So all this while before this, we discussed uh, all the previous semester's questions. The warrants are sold at premium. So this is the example in which the warrant is sold at discount. Okay. Uh, that's it for today. And, and for the next, next week's class, uh, we will uh, go to uh, technical analysis. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, it is topic number ten in your syllabus. What symbol negative discount? Uh, boleh juga negative pun boleh. 
ataupun you put into bracket boleh ataupun otherwise if you write here as discount I, I accept that because this is discount right you mention as discount or negative symbol pun okay uh, pun okay juga ok do you have any question doctor I am not a doctor I don't have a PhD so I'm not uh, I, I cannot be called a doctor uh, to, uh, saya bukan doctor saya uh, you can call me sir atau prof because I am a prof madia without doctor yeah Some doctors, uh, many doctors do not have a, a professor Madia title yet. Uh, I, I, saya orang lama dan saya dapat Prof Madia without having a PhD. Saya nasib baiklah orang lama. Okay, uh, do you have any question about orang lama? Untuk intrinsic value, okay, untuk intrinsic value, uh, intrinsic value, Market price of share uh, minus, no, market price of the share minus exercise price of the warrant. Not market price of the warrant. Market price of the share minus exercise price of the warrant. This 71 cents is exercise price of the warrant. Ah, exercise price of the, of the warrant, not the market price of the warrant is here, 132. Okay. So, uh, market price of the share minus Exercise price of the warrant. So this is the formula is wrong ni. So Maya, uh, market price of the share minus exercise price at uh, exercise price of the warrant. Ah, kan? It's, it's very clear here. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any other, other question? If you do not have any other question, I think we stop here, and I'll see you again insyaallah on on. Kalau untuk question nine kita minus dua ringgit atau dua setengah. Question 9 tadi. Apa dia untuk cari intrinsic value? Current price of the warrant is RM2. Uh, untuk tadi maknanya RM3.80 uh, tolak dengan... Oh, tadi salah lah. Tersilap tu dia salah. Ah, Okey, patutlah you confused. Uh, yang tadi, nombor 9. Oh, we have to do question number 9 lagi dah. Yang tadi salah. Uh, Okey, okay, jelas dah. So, uh, now you, you... Why you are confused? Yang tadi saya salah. Uh, kita buat balik semula nombor 9 sekejap eh. Because uh, I made a mistake there. Yeah, yeah. And now I realize. Thank you for for. Uh... Okay, untuk question nine. Okay, let's do it. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, thank you for pointing out my mistake there. Okay, for question nine, uh, the market price of the stock is three eighty. The current price of the warrant is two ringgit. Each warrant entitles you to. Uh, to one share of the company stock. So intrinsic value. So intrinsic value. Intrinsic value. Yes, yes, I did it wrong. Uh, in for question nine. So for intrinsic value is the market price of the share is three eighty minus exercise price of two fifty. Two fifty multiplied by exercise ratio of one. Ah, patut dia dapat 130 tadi Ok, ok, yang tak ada 130 tu betul ah, Betul, so this is 130 Patutlah dia keliru Ok, this is 130 Ah, baru betul 380 is market price And exercise is 250 So 130 And then uh, Market premium of the warrant Premium uh, Is Market price of the warrant So here the market price of the warrant is 2 minus 130 of intrinsic so you get 70 cents right 70 cents uh, 70 cents in in percentage premium is 2 minus 130 over 130 multiplied by 100 so uh, betul lah semuanya thank you for pointing out my mistake there Uh, jadi sini barulah dia dapat 2 minus 1.3 divided by 1.3 is so 53.8% yeah? 53.8% and then so the warrant premium is there. so this is the correction eh? so I put here correction because right now just now we we got it wrong here The so it should be the exercise price. Thank you for for pointing out the mistake. Okay, so now it's clear. So I'll see you again, insha Allah, on 
uh, on Monday, on, oh sorry, on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow there will be program for finance students, eh? apa, apa nama program apa ni, at 9, eh? starting at 9 in the morning. So, uh, hopefully you can join that. Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Wabarakatuh.